All right, so here I am with the WBO champion, Joseph Parker. How's it going, man? How are you feeling? I'm going good. Feeling great. Mm -hmm. Just finished this uh, press conference. Now I'm going to go home and, and chill for a bit for the next training session. But no, yeah. everything's gone well. In a way, it's, it feels like you're Conor McGregor and Razwan is Nate Diaz, in a way. <laughs> are you like sort of afraid, you know, the Nate Diaz moment sort of happening, you know? I Where? mean, uh, that's a good sort of way to put it, but I guess this is a totally different story. I mean, this is... Uh, I, I'm not Conor McGregor, I'm Joseph Parker, and that's Raz, man. And I feel like you know, Raz is here to take this title away from me, and I think he's got a great team behind him who's you know, confident in what he can do, confident in his ability and his, and his, uh, and his boxing. So. Um, uh, as a team for us, we're just going to go in there and do what we, have, we do. You know, we want to go in there and fight smart, um, try and execute the plan put in place and do our best to keep the, you know, get the victory and keep this title on New Zealand side. You know, with the last minute replacement, does that have a toll on your, on your, on your brain, on your psyche? Just, just knowing that you, know, you trained for a particular style and now you've got to sort of go in there and ex expect... Yeah, it, was, uh, it was one of those decisions where uh, you, you look at your team and you think, can we, can we make this work? Mm -hmm. you know, and we've been training for 12 weeks straight. So I know I trust in my team, I trust in my coach and what he teaches me. And he said, you know, Joe, we can we can make this work, you know. In a week and a half we can adapt to the style that he brings and change it all together. So when you have that trust in your team, when you're focused and you're physically and mentally in great shape, you, you can adjust and accept any situation that comes your way. You know, when Fury dropped out, suddenly everybody started calling you out, like the greatest boxers out there, yeah. you know. Is that a cool feeling, just being, you know your name is up there with the top ranks, just being called out, being in that conversation? It just shows that everything we've been doing from the beginning to this point has worked out, you know. And it just shows that all the hard work pays off. It's good that we're calling myself, you know. Yeah, it's I know I would have loved the opportunity to fight some top guys, but I guess they were all, a lot of them were busy, and yeah. a lot of them had uh, wanted longer training camps. So Razvan mm -hmm. was the only fighter who was willing to come down here and fight May 6th, and was ready, you know, he's fight ready. And he wanted to win, so uh, he's here now to try his best to take this title. Um, I know, I know, Tony Bellew has been sort of having a Twitter war with you. Um, what do you have to say to him? No, I respect him as a fighter. He yeah. did great against David Hay. So uh, the the main thing for us is to get past Razman. Yeah, yeah. Can't look ahead. But if we do win and everything goes well, uh, we'll sit down and talk to all those guys who are calling us out. I'll fight anyone. Okay. Are you still excited though to face Razman? Of course sick? I am. Yeah. This is probably Instead of, yeah. more exciting than Fury. Yeah. The reason I say that, I'm going to try, you know, I'll do my best to follow the plan, but sometimes I might go off and go to war with him, and we'll see he's got a stronger chin. Because this is not the easy option, right? The easy option was to just cancel the fight and... and the easy yeah. option is to cancel the fight and look at fighting these bigger names or the bigger paydays or whatever, but uh, we want to get in the ring and challenge ourselves, and this is a risky fight, so tune in and see. Just one last question, um, you know, Jeff Wong, the guy who used to fight on your undercard, is now going to be headlining in Brisbane, fighting against Pacquiao. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you go promises and it, it, it delivers on its promises, right? Yeah, Duco does a great job. Yeah, and I think it um, comes down to Duco you know, doing a great job, but also Jeff Horn training hard and his team as well. So I wish him all the best for Pacquiao. I know yeah. he's a great fighter who's uh, pretty exciting in the ring, and I look forward to seeing you know, what happens. Because I know Razvan was complaining, but I mean, if you look at how they deliver, they do deliver, right? I yeah, mean, they deliver. Yeah. I think we all deliver as a team. Yeah. We all work well together. And how do you see that fight going, Pacquiao or Jeff Horn? No, Pacquiao is still experienced and. I think he's still got it, but I want Jeff Horn to win. Yeah, same, same. Because I've you know followed the guy for three years, and I've asked him that before three years ago. So you want him to yeah. win? Of course. Yeah, he's a humble guy and he's yeah, a nice I think guy. Want him to win. Yeah. I think be good. Anyway, wishing you all the best for your fight May 6th. All the best. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.